This tutorial will cover how to install and configure a brand new sales application for use in WebStorm, for editing in WebStorm. I'm assuming at this point that you have installed Node.js from the Node website and that the application was installed if you're on Windows in the path so that it's accessible from the command prompt. So the first thing you need to do is open up a new command prompt and type npm install dash g sales. And at this point the sales application is going to be installed in a location that's accessible for every application that you'll install on the computer. Specifically every node application. Okay, once the install is complete you can scroll back up here and this shows the list of all of those dependencies and applications and modules that were installed as a part of your sales install. So the next thing you need to do is navigate to whatever directory you want to contain your application. So let's say I want to store this on my desktop. I will type cd desktop on the command line and hit return. I can type dir, D-I-R in Windows, or ls if you're on a Unix system like a Linux or a Mac and see a list of what's there, what's currently there. Now what you need to do is type sales new and then wh whatever folder, whatever directory you want your application to be called. So here we're going to call it node financial. And hit return and this is going to create a new application. Installing a lot of the same dependencies, but this time in a directory specific to this application. So we had to install it generally for everybody the first time so that we could type that sales new command. And now we have a new directory called node financial. If we look at the output of ls, or if you're on, a, on Windows, dir, now we can go to cd into node financial, or we can open this folder on the desktop and see a full list of all of the applications or all of the JavaScript and other files that have been created by sales. And this is the entire framework for the application. Once we have changed directory into Node Financial, we can type npm install that will then install all of those dependencies. So that all the initial command did was create this package.json file that tells you what the dependencies are. npm install installs those dependencies. Now we want to open that application in WebStorm so that we can use it, so that we can edit it, so that we can create things. So open up WebStorm and if you've already opened another application in WebStorm you'll go under the file menu in the top left and click close project. Since I have not created an application yet or a, or a project I have the option here to open a new project. So I'm going to open and open up and navigate here to my desktop, Node Financial. That's the name of that application, that folder that I created on the desktop. And click OK. Now that directory is open and I can open it in here and see all of the files, the controllers, the models, all of the framework that Sales has created, including that home page. Now the last thing we need to do in sales, or in, in WebStorm, sorry, is set up the application so that, sa that WebStorm knows how to start a sales application because sales uses a different command called sales lift rather than node start like a typical node application. So we will go to run, under run, select edit configuration. And then we're going to add a new configuration. So click the green plus and click node. We're going to call it sales. And here where it says JavaScript file, click the little ellipsis on the side and navigate inside your desktop, node financial, open up node modules and scroll down until you find sales. Open up sales bin 
and select sales.js. So it'll be under no your application, node financial, node module, sales bin, sales.js. And that is the JavaScript file that we will run. And the application parameter, sales lift. So we'll type the application parameter of lift there. And that's it. Then we can hit apply. You have the option, if you would like, to automatically open a browser to the home page every time that you run that sales lift, every time that you start your application. If you want to, you could go over to browser live edit, check that bo box for after launch to launch your default browser, possibly with the JavaScript debugger open to be able to instantly see your application's homepage as soon as you start it. You don't have to, that's, that's completely optional. I'm gonna leave that turned off. So we click OK, we've now got a full application framework. We're gonna run it. And notice down below, it opens up all of our options and it says sales has been started. So it's starting the app. It tells me we're in a development environment the port is 1337. So if I open up a browser now to localhost 1337, I see our brand new application. And the application is running and we can look at it and do whatever we want here. And this provides basic instructions for what to do along with links to tutorials and other information about the site and how to create a sales application. So now you have a fully working sales application here in your development environment. Now we can hit that stop sales button down here in the left corner or under the run menu, we can hit stop sales and that stops the application from running. So we don't have to leave it running in the background. If at any point you change things in your application, you probably need to stop sales and run it again. You have the option of hitting stop or you can hit this other button to rerun sales, control F5 or the little stop with the green arrow, and that will stop and restart the server for you. So as you're making changes in your application, messing with things and need to see how those impact the application, you can just rerun it to get things going again. So now anytime you need to edit something, edit an application, edit something in your application, you can open it up right here in sales or in WebStorm and edit those files. So if I wanted to edit, say the homepage file, I would open up views, homepage.ejs, and this is the framework for that homepage. Let's open up layout.ejs. Layout.ejs is the background for every site or every page on our site. So we can change the title here and I'm going to call it Node Financial. So on every page that we create now, that this header and all of this framework for the site is going to be automatically created and included. And then whatever we add inside our views is plugged in right here where we have the body tag. And that is included and automatically placed in every single page on our website. So now we can hit control S and save all of the files and all of the changes that we've made. And we have a fully working sales application ready to go in WebStorm.